Now, uh, he cheated death in a terrifying crash at the Indianapolis 500 race in America. But shortly afterwards, Kent motor racing driver Mike Conway vowed he would be back on the track as soon as he could. He did. He told us right here in the studio, didn't he? Conway suffered a broken leg and fractured vertebrae while travelling at more than 200 miles an hour. Just three months later, however, and the process to get back in the race has begun. Chrissy reedy has been to meet up with him. It's been three months since Mike Conway crashed at 220 miles per hour at the Indianapolis 500 in the USA. The neck brace and leg cast may be gone, but to ensure he's mentally prepared, today he was back in the driving seat, albeit a simulator. This is kind of as real as I can get um, to getting back in the car without actually not getting in it, you know. So um, it's really good to uh, hone your skills, really sharpen up. So when I get back in the real thing, you know, I'm going to be ready. These pictures show how back in May on the final lap he collided with Ryan hunter Ray. His car went hurtling into the air then crashed sideways into the fence. Mike sustained multiple fractures to his back and lower leg. I knew it was going to be big and as soon as I took off, hit the wall, lots of noise, banging, crashing. Tried to, tried to keep my eyes closed because you never know, the visor could pop up and things could come in, and um, which it did do actually. The visor popped open and then shut as I came back down. but. Um, yeah, and then as I came to a rest, I was upside down. So, um, you know, at that point, you're kind of a bit claustrophobic. You want to get out of the thing. And uh, luckily enough, the safety crew were there, you know, instantly. As soon as the car stopped, they were there and, and helping me out. Twelve weeks on, he's undergone physiotherapy, while the simulator allows Mike to re-engage with the motion of the racetrack. Simulation has developed tremendously, and it's an incredibly important part of racing now. You know, you've got the heartbeat, you've got the concentration levels, you've got the, the movement of going around the circuit. So yeah, he can't get in a racing car yet, you know, and the cost of doing that. So this is the best way. The last race of the season is in Miami in two weeks' time. I feel ready uh, mentally, uh, physically. As soon as, um, you know, I'm allowed to get back in, then, um, you know, I, I can't wait. Chrissy Reedy, BBC South East Today, Hawley in Surrey. He's a brave chap, isn't he? I don't know how keen I'd be to get back in a race car again after something like that. No, well, they do say you've got to get back on the horse, don't they? All they do, they do. In the car.